Hey guys, Mr. Mice is here, and this time I'm going to be talking to you about the second fundamental theorem of calculus. And you know, it's just uh, it's it's kind of a twist on the fundamental cal uh, fundamental theorem of calculus. It's just um, this time we're talking about taking a derivative of an integral, and sometimes that actually you know you might think about it as being oh well that's just going to be the what's inside. Well. That's kind of true, but not always true. So I want to take a look at uh, some of these examples. So uh, I'm going to go through some of these that are real, really quickly just kind of setting up the idea of the fundamental theorem of calculus. So here we go. Let's take a look at this. And we know that if we solved a 2x, 2t minus 3, and we did its antiderivative, we would have t squared minus 3t, right? And we evaluate it from 0 to x. So here's something different. We have an x as one of our limits of integration. So that is that is a little different there. Ooh, let me bring this in really, really big here. Um, and then when we plug in x, we're going to get x squared minus 3x. And then when we plug in 0, we're just going to get 0, right? So we're going to end up with this as our, um, our antiderivative. So let's take a look at, well, what if we did, what if we did the derivative of that, right? What if we did the derivative of that? Well, the derivative... The derivative, d dx, of x squared minus 3x, because that's what we got when we took this part, right? This part was right here. And when we take the derivative, we're going to get, um, well, we're going to get 2x minus 3. So we end up with the same thing we did have in here, right? Only this time we have an x inside. Well, okay, so in general, what happens here? In general, so if I have f prime of t, I'm really going to have f of t, right, evaluated from this case 10 to x, which is going to give me f of x minus f of t using the first fundamental theorem of calculus. Well, if I do that using, you know, the d, if I do take the derivative of all this, what's going to happen? Well, the derivative, the derivative of f of x minus f of 10 is going to be, well, what's the derivative of f of 10? f of 10, remember, is a constant. So f of 10 being a constant is just going to give me f prime of x. So whenever we have the derivative of an integral from a constant to a uh, function value x to just x, uh, we can say that that's just the function that's inside with an x instead of a t. Okay, So that's basically the, se the second fundamental theorem of calculus. The derivative of an integral from a to x, as long as a is a constant, is good of f of t dt is going to be f of x okay where, where f is continuous it has to be continuous from a to x so let's take a look at at a couple of them that might be a little bit different here though so now let's say we're doing f prime of t and we have x squared this is not x right this is x squared so what happens well we're going to have f of t evaluated from 0 to x squared and that's going to be f of x squared minus f of 0 Okay, well, let's take the derivative of that. Let's see what happens when we take the derivative of that. Okay, so um, again, I had the derivative of f of, we said this was f of x squared, oops, minus f of zero. Now, what happens here? Well, look, when we take the derivative of f of x squared, that is a chain rule. So we have to do f prime of that times the derivative of the inside. And this is just going to still be 0, right? Because that's a constant. So now we have to deal with a hook-on situation here when we've got this little guy that's hooked on because of the chain rule. So let's take a look at one that has x's in both of them. So if we did that, we're going to get f of um, two, oh, two x minus f of x cubed, right? Because we, we basically did this work, right? Only we have it separated out here. And now we'll take the derivative of that. So the derivative of f of 2x minus f of x cubed is going to be f prime of 2x times 2, because this is a chain rule, minus f prime of x cubed times 3x squared, because again, this is a chain rule. So now we have two hook-ons. Well, look at guys, this hook on right here comes from the derivative of that um, constant, that integration uh, value. And this hook on here comes from this, um, what's well, not constant integration, but this integration value here. 
So that in general is what the second second fundamental theorem of calculus can say too, is that it, this is the chain rule version, is that we're gonna have, if we have u and v, okay, these guys right here, if these are actual like functions, like um, x's or x squareds, then we have to have hook-ons in the end, and we're gonna take the derivative, oops, the derivative of those and put them onto the end. So you can just kind of think that you're doing the chain rule there. So let's take a look at a couple more examples here. Okay, it's going to load on just one second. I'll zoom in. Let's take a look at a couple of these examples. Okay, so um, now we're going from, in this case, we're going x to zero. Well, we don't want to go x to zero. We always want to go um, constant to variable. So whenever we switch our integration values here are um, what we call constants of integration but when we switch these these integration values whenever we switch them we need to make our integral negative okay let me put that ddx there that's a weird t isn't that <laughs> it's just like oh, it's slanted like that okay um, and the derivative now we're just going to plug in x right so we're going to have negative 2x minus 3 and we don't have a C in this case because, again, we're doing um, definite integration. Okay, so let's take a look at another one here, number 10. All right, well, what's going to happen here? We're going to plug in 2, and we're going to plug in 5, and then when we take the derivative of that, we're just going to have a constant. So this is 0, all right? The derivative of a constant is 0. All right, what about this here? We've got um, negative 1 to x. Now, it really doesn't matter if this is negative 1 or positive because when I take the derivative of when I, after I plug that in, it's going to be a constant. So it really doesn't matter. So this one, though, has an x cubed. So this one we're going to use the second fundamental theorem using the chain rule. So we're going to plug in x cubed in where we see a t. So we're going to have x cubed squared plus 2 times x cubed. And then we're going to have that hook on, which is the derivative of this guy right here, which is 2x squared, right? The derivative of this goes right here. And that would be our answer for that one. Oh, that's not a 2, that's a 3. 3x squared. Okay. Well, let me just clean that up for you. 3x squared. Okay. So let's look at this one here. Number 12. Okay, we got two of them here. So we're going to plug in each of these guys, the 3x one first. So we got 3x squared plus 2 times 3x minus oops I don't want to forget what goes on to that it's a hook on what's the hook on it's the derivative of 3x which is 3 minus 2x squared plus 2 times 2x times the hook on what's the hook on what's the derivative of 2x it's 2 Okay, so there's your answer for that one. Now we can simplify that more if you wanted to, but we'll leave it like that for now. 13, here we go. Now we got g of x and f of x, so we're going to generalize this guy. So we're going to plug in g of x here first. We're going to have 2 g of x minus 3 times what? g prime. That's right, g prime. Minus 2 f of x minus 3 times what? f prime there we go f prime of x okay all right last one here number 14 next vid the next video i'll do this uh, interpretation of ray graphs but for now we'll just do this one so uh f f of x equals this integral what's f prime so well we're doing the derivative of the integral so we're using the second fundamental theorem of calculus notice we have a hook on here but this is a constant so we don't need to worry about this guy just this one okay so we're going to put in there one minus 3x squared squared to the 10th times the hook on of 3x squared. So the derivative of that is 6x. All right. So there you go, guys. That's the second fundamental theorem of calculus. Talk to you later, guys. See you later. Bye.